This is a CAD tool. It's called Memoc. Um, your maths colleagues will see next semester. And I'm in this environment where my source text has been split into sentences. And I'm quite grateful because at the bottom here, I can see uh, these sentences in context. As soon as I click on something, the tool is trying to give me something useful. And for instance, if I start at the beginning, boringly, um, I can see that I have various colors. And the more you use the tools, the um, more you find out about these colors. Um, and I can say, thank you for this lovely uh, translation. Just insert it, and then move on. If I get a suggestion which is not something which I would like, I can simply correct it a little bit, so a bit of post-editing, and go on. I've translated it, and the machine saw that the same segment was present a bit later on. It put the translation in, and I can get on with my life. Maybe I can check it very quickly, but now I'm on to the third segment. Um, and this is all getting quite fast. Um, here I have, if I look at the um, indication to the right, I have a perfect match. So I might not even, well, I might not be paid to check them. I might not even look at it. Move on. Um, this is not quite uh, so good. I have to do some editing here. And the machine is telling me uh, to the side in red what's different, and then I can look at it and make an educated choice. And then after I correct that, I can move on. But so far, I'm still stuck to my computer. I'm still using my hands. Um, is there a better way? Is it just because the machine can't do anything else that we have to be tied to it? Um, and there is. And I can try now and demonstrate and see how it goes. A bit of voice recognition. So um, this is not for you. It's for the machine. Wake up. Right now, I would like to dictate my translation. And preferably, I would also like to walk around the room, comma, hoping that the outcome is going to be the desired one. And there won't be any gibberish to correct. Correct debriefed. How do you spell gibberish? Whoops. Um, rubbish. Full stop. Ah. Select any of there was a rubbish, full stop, correct. Any rubbish to correct, full stop. Memo validate. <laughs> Memo validate. Maybe I have a different uh, command for this. <laughs> Read paragraph. Right now, I would like to dictate my translation, and I probably I would also like to walk around the room, hoping that the outcome is in be the desired one, and there won't be any rubbish to correct. My mobile and eight validate maybe have a different term demand from. Memo read source. Memo read source. Ce segment sera lui aussi traduit par le même logiciel parce que ma mémoire de traduction ne contient rien d'utile. This segment will be translated by the same tool because my translation memory doesn't have anything useful. Full stop. Memo validate. I think I've got a different command for that. But anyway. So this is... Um, <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. So 
I'm, what I'm trying to say is that even if you're a freelance interpreter, there might be scope in using the skills and techniques that you have learned here to be a successful translator as well. Even if you're a translator who expect to be typing all your life, there might be scope to use your voice um, for your work as well.